Have you ever wondered what's the easiest way to achieve ultimate results with retinoin that no one seems to be sharing? In today's video, I will share a simple method that's been hidden in plain sight. Well, after watching this video, you will also say it's pretty simple. I stumbled upon this game-changing approach that took my retinoin game to a whole new level. And let me tell you, it's a game-changer you won't want to miss. Let's get started. You're here because you're curious about tretinoin, right? No need to dive into the boring basics like what tretinoin is, percentages and all that jazz. I won't waste your time with that. There are lots of videos out there for that stuff. Now, let me share a bit about my journey with tretinoin. I scrolled through endless online forums, being watched countless videos on how to use tretinoin and even listened to the professionals dropping knowledge bombs. But let me tell you, there's so much information out there that it can easily leave you scratching your head and confused what ingredients to mix or not to mix with it. So I thought, all right, let's keep it real and simple. To begin with, I followed the crowd and all the advice online and started tretinoin slowly once a week and then increasing to every other day along with the simple cleanse, tretinoin and moisturize routine. But guess what, I still battle the common tretinoin side effect, dry skin around my chin where tretinoin wasn't even invited. When I was applying tretinoin, I was being very strategic and keeping away from chin and around the nose area as these areas are very sensitive. But still I was getting dry skin patches around my chin and I could not understand why that's happening even when I'm not applying tretinoin over there. Now, here's the twist. I broke the golden rule of moisturizing after using tretinoin. I simplified my routine further down to a two-step routine, cleanse and tretinoin, and boom, dryness is gone. I used no other product before or after using tretinoin. I've never heard anyone say, just use tretinoin and nothing else. They all say moisturize, moisturize, tretinoin is drying, you need to moisturize your skin. But guess what? I ignored that advice and stuck to my two-step tretinoin routine and I have no problems. My choice of tretinoin is 0.025% tretinoin cream. If you are living in the UK, you can join Dermatica to get your prescription from a dermatologist. I will leave a link in the description for it. And the cleanser I use is Cetaphil's Gentle Skin Cleanser as I think it does the job very well of simply cleansing the skin without any unnecessary complexities. I will also post a link to it in the description box if anyone is looking for a gentle cleanser. When you are using tretinoin, make sure your cleanser is very basic and gentle and it has got no exfoliating ingredients. After applying tretinoin, my skin feels a tad bit dry, but that sensation of dryness disappears in about half an hour. No tightness, no discomfort, nothing. In my morning routine, I do use serums, moisturizer and sun cream. On tretinoin nights, it's a one ingredient show and my skin is loving it. No irritation, nothing. I get it, this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but simplifying your routine can save you from the chaos of mixing tretinoin with a million other things. Trust me, even accidentally mixing actives can lead to a not-so-pleasant skin situation and we end up blaming different products for it. Leave a comment and let me know if you have ever tried using tretinoin without any moisturizer and how was your experience or if you are just going to do it now. If you are vibing with my tretinoin journey, curious about my weekly routine when I'm using tretinoin, how I tackle tretinoin irritation within 24 hours, or want to witness my before and after using tretinoin, hit the subscribe button. Your support means the world to me, and we are in for a skincare adventure together. Catch you in the next one.